But this article, courtesy of Pajaba, which if I'm not mistaken, oh sorry, Pajiba, Pajaba, Pajiba, Pajaba, Pajiba, Pajaba, Pajaba, or Pajiba, Pajiba. Let's say Pajiba. Can I say Pajiba probably? Pajiba. So Pajiba, I think, was a site that uh, basically cancelled um Thingy for a bit, innit? Um, what's his name? Uh, something Kamal. Oh, what's that guy? The little short Asian dude who was on SNL. Was it SNL? No. What what show was he on? He was on some series. I don't know. I don't, know, I don't watch these white people's comedy shows. But whatever, he was on some comedy show and people liked him. You know, people thought it was funny. And then I guess some girl decided to write an essay about how she had a clumsy hookup with a guy. That's what it sounded like, basically. A really clumsy hookup where no one really knew where the line was. No one really knew what people were comfortable with. It was a bit of on, off, on, off, on, off to the point where she was like, okay, now leave. And then, you know, she wrote about it. And again, up to you how you want to say it, but how you want to you know what you call it how you want to it's up to you how you want to interpret the story but looking back on it that wasn't worth somebody losing their career over it wasn't worth public you know condemnation public shaming all that shit it wasn't worth it um even the attempt at cancellation wasn't worth it, it didn't make any sense because at the heart of it it was a clumsy awkward bad first date or bad intimate date kind of thing whatever when you go on that third base sort of thing you see somebody in your own home or you see them in their own home do you know what I mean? it gets to, you know ramp up the old sexual tension and it can get a bit weird and it can get a bit awkward it can get a bit clumsy because guess what you know relationship between men and women or relationship between anybody that's into each other is a bit strange is a bit awkward that first touch that first kiss that first intimate hug it takes a while to build up to that point and between then and that point Loads of things can go wrong. Trust me, I've been there. I fumbled a bag many a times, very close to the to the finishing line, <laughs> and I continue to do so. But anyway, continuing on, uh, Pajabi had some Pajaba Pajiba. Just say the word. I can't say it properly. I don't know. Maybe because it's a hand. What's the hand mean? Isn't that a bad logo in terms of phonetically trying to spell the word in your head? Even what does that hand and a fist mean? That that fist is holding a pencil. I'm assuming, right? What does that mean? How does that represent an eye? Anyway, let's continue. Um, they, had, they weren't really too pleased, obviously, with the fact that Louis C.K. and uh, Marilyn Manson and who else, uh, whoever else got a, a Grammy. Imagine how pissed they would have been if Kevin Spacey was awarded, you know, actor of the decade or something. <laughs> uh, let's continue. Isn't it? Counterculture strikes again, Dustin Rolls says, for Pajiba. There we go. I got it. So they say here, Counterculture has once again reared its ugly head, this time taking aim at Marilyn Manson and Louis C.K., each of whom has a history of sexual abuse allegations against them, and Dave Chappelle, who's made and continues to make jokes at the expense of trans community. Proper narky, like, mm, you did something bad. Dude, I'm going to tell on you behavior in this. Like, yeah, 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 man. Um, the Recording Academy is the latest to take aim at the free, announcing yesterday that each has received Grammy nominations. Lucy Kay and Dave Chappelle were nominated for the Best Comedy Album, while Marilyn Manson was twice nominated for contributions on the Yay Donda album. So, if you do something that people don't like, right? Again, because l- 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 let me put my stand out there again. Like I said, I ultimately think counterculture is gay because it's the industry deciding to counsel you and take away your ability to make money put food on the table pay your rent look after your kids and all that good stuff they are deciding i'm okay with the public saying hey we don't like this guy because he's a woman abuser we don't like this guy because he's homophobic we don't like her because she's a zionist whatever i don't care right if they if the public says i'm not gonna we're gonna collectively decide to not back this person's music and then they die a slow death so be it and if they, even if their fans turn against them, cool, right? That's fine, no problem. But the issue that I have, if you're a musician and you see something that people don't like, it's, it's not your fans turning against you because your fans usually don't care. Your fans love you for who you are, most of them, because they know who you are. Or your fans just ride or die and they're willing to, you know, whatever, ride or die. Or your fans are just grown ups and they're okay with separating the art and the artist. But in some cases, or in most cases, what ends up happening if you're somebody and you're a musician, for instance, you do something people don't like, the industry stops promoting your music you get bumped off the algorithm you're not featured on the new albums release thing page whatever on on spotify and apple you don't get booked on festivals anymore because sponsors and brands and stages think you're a liability um concert halls don't want to book anymore either off the back of that because they're getting bomb threats sent to them and shit so essentially there is a co um there is some sort of coordinated attack that happens in order to limit your ability to make a living they take away from you. Despite your fans saying, we're going to stick with you, the industry says no, which is what I think is gay. I don't like that whatsoever. I think that's horrible. 
That's horrible. That's super inhumane. It's lacking any kind of empathy. It's lacking any kind of um, understanding of redemption, right? Like, can somebody do something wrong and maybe come back from it? Probably. Can they do something wrong? Is there is there different levels of wrongness that you can do to come back from? Of course, there's always a limit. There's always a line. You have to decide what that line is for yourself. Everyone's got one. But in terms of collectively saying, versus, they're all completely different. What? Louis C.K. did what? Louis C.K., if you look at the heart of the issue, he in, engaged in a sexual act with two consenting adults who then later on decided that they weren't that comfortable with it or maybe spoke about it open. It was then taken and interpreted as another thing that he was going around jacking off in front of random people, which wasn't the case. It was one occasion that happened that was spoken about on a, on a podcast or something, repeated by other people that then took a life for its own and suddenly his career's gone. Okay, cool, whatever. Career gone. Dave Chappelle thing. He said a joke that you didn't like. A joke that he said you didn't find funny. You took it personally because he was talking to a, a, a group of people who you feel an affection for. Okay, cool. But is that worth to completely erase his career and say that he can't make a living again? Is that what you want? You're disappointed in people for just supporting him anyway because they don't care? Because the thing is all that pisses me off about people like that. They get annoyed at people that don't care. You're all right to care, is uh, Pajiba, they're all right. Do your articles. Say how much of a horrible person Dave Chappelle is. That's fine. That's your prerogative. But you then can't get angry at people who don't care what, about what you're talking about. They're allowed to not give a shit. Yes, it's disappointing. Yes, you want people to have a, more morals and more ethics and have informed choices in who they back. Yes, we'd love that. But we don't live in a perfect world. I mean, most grown-ups know this. Most grown-ups try to function in the world as is instead of trying to craft it and bend it to their will. That's not what most people do because you're going to be here forever. And it's not going to work. And then lastly, the Marilyn Manson thing is a bit tetchy. It's a little bit the harder one to get into because, again, relationship stuff, we weren't, we weren't there. Um, the accounts, again, relationship stuff, we weren't there. It's Marilyn Manson. He's a bit of a freak and, a, and a, what, do you, what do you call it? He's a little bit of um, he's a, he's a freak, basically, isn't it? Like, when stuff comes out about him that's verging on that sort of side of abuse and whatever it may be and it seems a bit strange and a bit dark, you look at Marilyn Manson, you take a look at him and you're like, yeah, that makes sense. So a part of you is a little bit like, it's hard to really make a, a fair judgment on that. And again, we don't really have the details. We don't really know what's going on. Was he going around with a bat suit, going around abusing people left, right and centre? Whole different story. Or were all these consensual adult relationships that maybe went a bit too far on his side of things? Cool, again, let's say that did happen. He did do that thing. He went too far in a few relationships. Again, is that worth cancelling somebody completely for? I don't think so personally. I don't think so. Or if I think so, maybe there's a period and you can come back after that, but that's not the case. They want you to stop dead. They want you to stop and drop dead right at this moment. They don't think you can come back from it. That's the thing that I don't like, which is odd because people have family members who say the most wildest shit, but you don't want them to die, do you? You don't want them to just drop dead and die. You don't want them to just like not talk ever again. Or maybe you do. I don't know. Let's continue. It says here, um, that's going to put a real dent in their careers, said sarcastically, I'm assuming. It continues here, it says the following, oh, that's a quote from him, from the uh, CEO. And then um, it continues on showing tweets. Is that what the articles are nowadays? You write an article, what, that's like how many words long? That's like less than 500 words, right? And then you just include tweets of other people, what they said. Okay, anyway. Um, in, in other words, the Recording Academy separates art from the artist, no matter how heinous the artist's action can be. And then um, tweets from different people. A guy called David Max says, only one Grammy nom for each day should put on Kevin Hart and, and Lucy K. Counter culture strikes again. Um, and ironically, of course, 77.4K likes. Um, Eve Six says, what counter culture has done to these men is unconsolable. Um, 4.2 likes. Oh, because they're saying cancer culture does exist. Yes, it does exist, though. We've seen so many accounts of people who are less famous than Dave Chappelle, Lucy K, Kevin Hart and Marilyn Manson who got cancelled and never came back from it ever again. Plenty of people who have said jokes online, on Twitter and shit. People have rung up their place of work. They got fired. Look at those people that, like, look at those guys. Um, Look at that guy that gave Chris Whitty a hug in the flipping park and it was kind of roughing him up and shit. People mass reported him to his work and they fired him. Did that guy get a job again? The job market is pretty tough out here in the UK, especially for like mid-level jobs in offices. It's not easy to get. Did that guy get a job easily? No, probably not. If Has he got a job? I don't know. If he hasn't, that's cancel culture in effect. But people like to say because the biggest of the biggest didn't can't get cancelled, that all of a sudden doesn't exist. It's like, what are you talking about? These guys are richer than most humans in the world. Of course, it's not going to hurt them the same way. But it's still something that you don't like to see. Somebody's career getting completely taken away from them because of they made a mistake or they fucked up. And again, that's what I'm saying. 
cancel them if you were if there was some sort of like um, mini cancellation that took place where like you were given a timeout cool but they don't want a timeout they want you to time out forever i mean they don't want you to wake up um, it continues here it says a, a, a person called jesse the het or jesse no jesse het is it jesse het? jesse the helpman het it says lucy k is nominated for a grammy this year another victim of counter culture it's the same joke again and again they included in this pijabi flipping article um, Jeffrey Ignold said, um, every, you really can't tell me that counterculture doesn't exist when Lucy K, Dave, Dr. Luke and Dave Chappelle have all received the Grammys. Lucy K can shove his Grammy and nomination up Mel Gibson's ass. I guess this person didn't like the passion of Christ. Um, this another one person said, Lock Lucy K and Marilyn Manson are both nominated for Grammys, but tell me more. Mate, how many times are you going to repeat the same thing in this article? That's the article done. Fucking modern day journalism, isn't it? Absolutely weird. But yeah, um, Pajiba aren't fans of Lucy K, Dave Chappelle, or Marilyn Manson. I, I find it interesting they didn't use Dave Chappelle's face on here as the lead image for this article. I wonder why.